All right, guys, this is Eric, the OBX picker. I'm here. Uh, this is actually Sunday after, Sunday evening. Um, I'm just going to go through some stuff today. As most of you may or may not know, but I'm doing this 30-day death to the death pile challenge. So what I'm my challenge to myself is, is for the next 30 days to vlog my progress in reducing my death pile. If you go back a couple videos ago, um, Froggy Flips had put out a thing about listing your death pile. Um, well, showing your death pile on YouTube called Soy Pod, show us your pile of death. And so I actually kind of took that a step further for myself and just challenging myself the next 30 days to use uh, YouTube to document my own death pile, um, hopefully reducing that thing down as we are kind of all in the same situation, limited sourcing opportunities with uh, what's going on with the C word, as Lonnie would say. Um, <clears throat> I uh, have taken this opportunity myself to try to not only reorganize, but I have a lot of projects. If you saw, went back and saw that, I have plenty of game systems that needed testing, that needed uh, maybe additional parts ordered for, um, so that's kind of what I'm going through on my own self is trying to uh, reduce my death pile and add that to my inventory because once it's listed, then it's listed. Um, it'll have an opportunity to sell. Nothing can sell sitting in your death pile. And I've seen a couple sales off of what I've already listed. So I kind of just want to go through, uh, I'll go through my what sold and then I'll show you, um, what my progress is on the soy pod reducing the death pile. Uh, so the first item that sold for me today was this uh, uh, Rock Band. This is Rock Band 360, and that thing uh, went out for 575 free ship. Not a huge sale, but a sale nonetheless. Uh, we have WWE uh, The Undertaker bendable figure uh, that went out for 930 free ship. Um, both of those items, I don't really have a whole lot in. Uh, next item is a nice flip for me. Um, I've run into ink all the time, well, not all the time, but ever so often uh, companies are cleaning stuff out. So I got this ink here. It is uh, HP uh, printer cartridge. This is open box, but it's still sealed on the inside. Like when I opened it up, it uh, the ink toner itself was sealed. That went out for $95. Guys, I actually got that for $3 at a thrift store. So and if you see toner, toner's where it's at. So uh, that went out for 95 plus shipping. So that kind of made Saturday for me. Uh, this classified the Sentinel Crisis. That went out for 890 um, free ship on that. We had a, this is a bolo for you if, if you're out there, man. These uh, dog collars that have the spray like, they're not the shot callers, but they're the uh, spray. This is a uh, gentle spray. It actually has citronella as well as an anti-bark collar. Um, it talks about they're more effective than the shot collar anyway, because they guess it does do something as far as uh, with the kid. It's anti-bark collar. Um, that went out for $37.99. I picked that up for, I believe, $3 at a thrift. So be on the lookout for those if you see them. Right now, these are all good. Um, this is a puzzle by White Mountain Thousand Piece, and it is a pre-owned puzzle. We do try to check all those, and with pieces, my father's actually a big puzzle guy. Um, he enjoys doing them, so a lot of times he'll check them. In fact, he just talked to me. He's in Florida. He said, I got a whole box of them things for you, so I might figure out how to get pictures of those things, get them listed, and then send him the shipping label uh, if need be. The next item we have is... Hedwick um, Harry Potter coffee mug. I'm sure for those that are sitting around drinking coffee, uh, this is one of those things that went out for $9.50 plus shipping. A uh, buyer all in at $20 on that. That would be going out. That was a retail arbitrage find at Walgreens. So I think I ended up getting that thing for about a dollar fifty. Um, so nice little return on that. We got a PSP game going out, Transformers, the the game, um, this was part of a big bulk buy that I did a while back. Um, got a whole bunch of game systems and games for 350, and this PSP game was part of it. 
That went out for 650 free ship, so not a lot of return on that. Uh, next item up is this uh, vintage realistic. Um, these are headphones, and they'd have the the jack um, conversion, so they can go to stereo down to the regular three eighths. Um, that's what this thing is. Uh, for those of you guys that don't remember this, this used to be the stereo jack. Um, for you younger people out there, I'm not super old myself, but I do remember those stereos that took the big stereo jack. Um, next item up is this is actually a really neat item that I found. Um, gosh, I don't remember exactly where I got this. I think I got it from a uh, private pick that I got a bunch of things at. This is Radio Shack Extra Electronics Learning Lab. Uh, this went out for $44.99, and it, it is brand new in the box. Uh, the box has been opened, but it looks like all the components are still sealed in plastic. Um, so that's actually a neat little game. It actually, a game, it's, uh, it's actually how people would learn how to wire electronics. Um, the original price is still on that thing for 60 bucks, but it says learn a modern electronics the fun, while having fun, and it has over 200 po projects and experiments. Uh, this did not have the manuals, was the only thing that was missing out of that thing. So that's going out for $44.99. Uh, next thing we got going out is this Call of Duty uh, 2, and that's the big red one is what the title is that went out for 790 uh free ship and some of these items are actually items that have sold during the day today so we'll see tomorrow if we have any more sales through the night uh this next item up is a game boy pocket and it does come with uh tasmania uh game oh that's not tasmania good thing i checked it <laughs> i've got tasmania that's what comes with it to the Game Boy Land. Uh, let's see, Tasmania, Tasmania. There we go. Tasmania is the one that's coming out with that uh, Game Boy Pocket. And I tested this thing. I was actually using it to test other games. That's why I had that game in it. So we'll go ahead and make sure we get the batteries out of that thing before we ship it. I don't like to ship batteries. Um, I know it's a kind of a no-no, but you're setting yourself up for corrosion issues if you're shipping batteries. So we'll ship uh, the pocket out. Uh, that sold for $39.99, free ship. And then the last game going out, man, I'm, I'm actually having a hard time finding it. It's a loose uh, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup game, and it's the game only. So I, I'm i thinking that that thing has gotten misplaced. I've been tearing the place up. I hadn't found it. But I may have to c cancel that order or fulfill it another way. Um, so that's where I'm at today. I do want to show you the last item that I had. And this was one that came out of my death pile. I actually listed it um, yesterday. And it sold. So... It's the only one of these items that has came out of the death pile since I started listing. So, so far we have two days in, we sold two items. So not a bad curve on that. This item going out is a PS2 Fat. Uh, this is the 39001 is what's going out, the PS2 Fat. These actually sell pretty decent if you find some. Uh, this went out with one controller and two baseball games, um, nothing super valuable, but it went out for $65 free ship on that. So that pretty much sold within the hour of me listing it. So that's what I got going out as of right now. Um, we definitely, uh, once again today, I've actually had a pretty good run uh, the past few days. I'll tell you where I'm at as far as the weekend. So, Actually, had, I'm on a three-day streak right now of over three hundred dollars in sales. Uh, three forty-six on Thursday, uh, three fifteen on Friday, and three eighty on Saturday. And we got some get, <laughs> we got some uh, ground to gain on today. We're at one hundred five. So I will tell you uh, the update on the listing. How that's going is Saturday's listing. I actually did 
10 listings only and that was because i was testing a bunch of game systems today i've actually kind of took it easy i think i've listed at this point about maybe five items but i'm uh, probably going to be listing into the night a little bit tonight so that's where i'm at so i've sold two items uh, at this point my total listing has been 25 items that was through saturday and then i'll give you the update tomorrow hopefully we'll get some sales through the night and i'll find that gamecube game uh, thank you guys for watching and staying up to date with what's going on i do appreciate you uh, watching my channel and subscribing liking uh, doing all those things that help the channel and um, i do encourage you in your own death pile uh listing that uh, you guys continue to list. Uh, don't let the what's going on in the world uh, distract you from controlling what you can control. And the only thing we re really can control is what we do. And uh, so by us still continuing to list, that's, that's a way to get sales. Um, for me, even though it's only been two items, I'm sure some of the other stuff I've listed will be selling over the next several weeks. So thanks once again. You guys have a great day.